You want to get into data science and aren't sure if you should learn R? Watch here to find out who should learn R, how to access it, how to say R like a proper pirate, and free and easy learning resources that can help you out. But first, if you want a job in analytics, please check out our guide linked below and subscribe to make sure you stay up to date with all future content. When you read about data science or watch pirate movies, you'll hear R mentioned quite frequently. R is one of the three primary data science languages. Python and SAS are the others. If you want to get started with one, and to be clear, you should start with only one, should it be R? Of those three, R is the one that was most specific for data science. It was designed by statisticians for doing hardcore statistical work. If heavy statistical analysis is what you need, R is the gold standard. It's great for someone with a technical or mathematical background who's looking to get into data science. The job market for R is robust, so it's an excellent first language to learn. R is also the standard for academic researchers, so if that's what you're interested in, you'd be wise to get a head start in it. R is popular for a lot of reasons. The first strength is versatility. There are hundreds or even thousands of packages that can be installed to perform specific functions. That means that R can handle any data-related task you can throw at it. The second advantage of R is its visualization and graphing capability. ggplot2 is one of the most versatile and powerful graphing packages available anywhere. I mean, look at this graph of land use in Southern and Central Asia. This is amazing. The third advantage is the community. Because R has been around for a while, there are lots of resources out there for learning ever more advanced techniques and for asking questions. You don't have to reinvent the wheel at every turn. There are lots of experienced programmers who for years have posted their exact code and techniques for solving their most difficult problems. Like for instance, if you wanted to make a graph like the one we just saw. Well, it turns out the man who made the graph, Oscar Perpignan Lamaguero, posted exactly how he did it, and you can find it online. I'll include the link below. <coughs> While R has a lot of strengths, it's not perfect. First off, it's not beginner friendly. The syntax, rules, and definitions are far closer to old-school technical programs like MATLAB than newer and more user-friendly ones like Python or SAS. The second drawback to R is that it's not fast. It doesn't mean it's slow, but in processing applications where 100 milliseconds makes a difference, such as a web app to direct advertisements to customers based on their browser history, you wouldn't choose R for that. The third drawback is that it's resource-intensive. So if your computer doesn't have a ton of RAM, or your data set's really large, you can run into some problems. <coughs> there are lots of ways to get R, because it's free. That's right, it's an open source language with lots of open source development environments. So which one should you get? Well, that depends on how you want to learn R. <coughs> there are tons of free resources out there to learn R. But here's the thing, I'd actually advise paying for one. I wouldn't advise paying a whole lot. You can get some good courses on Udemy for about $15. So data Camp is $25 a month, and there are some free courses on Coursera and EDX that utilize R for data science. The benefit of taking a course like this is you'll get a comprehensive resource all in the same style. The terminology, examples, and whatnot will all be in the same open source environment. So if you find one that you like, pick that open source environment, and then all of your examples will look like theirs. <coughs> so should you learn R? Are you learning it to get a job? R is a great choice. Are you trying to perform hardcore statistic analysis? R is the best choice. Are you trying to build something to use on a web app? Don't use R. Stick with Python. Are you trying to get a job in a Fortune 500 company as an analyst? Start with SAS. If you like this video, please hit like, share with your friends. Make sure to subscribe so you stay up to date with all future content. And until next time, I'm E.W. Hulbert, the analytics dude. Thanks for watching.